Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ashley Jackson and right now we're standing outside of Rupp Arena for the 143rd commencement ceremony. As you can see, there are hundreds of students outside behind us waiting to enter the arena and exchange their class schedules for college degrees. Right beside me, we've got the president of the University of Kentucky, President Todd. President Todd, how does it feel to be standing out here today with the students? You know, this is just wonderful, and I'm so glad that uh, for the first year we're actually webcasting this so that parents of uh, students who came here from international countries will be able to stay up late and watch them, and uh, the audience will be able to see what's going on out here because this is where the action is, and uh, it's just a great day. The weather's cooperating, and there's a lot of high energy out here. Right, right, and I know these students are going to be U.K. alumni, but you're actually a U.K. alum yourself. How would you like to tell us about that? Well, Patsy and I both graduated from the university. We got married just shortly after that. Uh, both of our children are UK graduates. Um, then I came back and I taught here for nine years. And so we really have uh, been seeing blue for a long time. You sure have. So you've continued the tradition down the years. And although these students are graduating today, today they'll be Wildcats for a lifetime. Greg, how's that big blue spirit going down on your end of the carpet? Thanks, Ashley. I'm here with a couple folks from the College of Arts and Sciences. Listen, everyone knows a lot of hard work and time went in getting here today. How are you all feeling? It's definitely weird that four years has flown by real fast, but it's a great feeling, and it only opens up another chapter in life. So, It feels great, Greg. Um, four years of hard work have come to fruition, and I've achieved a lifelong goal, so it's awesome. Well, you know, normally we're here to watch a show on the floor, but today it's our show on the floor to acknowledge all, all the hard work that we've done over the past four years. It's, it's a very proud moment. Just to reiterate everything that they said, and it just seems like yesterday it was the first day of my freshman year, and so it's just, like Kara said, a surreal moment to be here. I, th I think that brings up a great point. As a UK student, you probably spent a lot of time at Rupp Arena watching other people. Today there are a lot of people at Rupp, but they're watching you. That, that has to be surreal. How do you feel? Oh, it's great. You know, I've spent every game this year watching Coach Cal down there, and then hopefully today he'll be up there watching us graduate. So Yes, it's wonderful to finally have the focus on us as, as you know, educated adults and, and to move on. It's, it's a very proud moment. What about, and I'll ask you this, what are some big things that you all have planned after graduation? What bigger and better things will you be doing? Well, after graduation, um, I'll be going to the University of Florida for my master's degree in student personnel and higher education. What about you? I'll be attending med school and I'll also be traveling this summer, so take a little break. Great. It was great talking to you all. I, I would wonder if before you guys go inside, you might do your last cat's cheer as University of Kentucky students. All right. Ready? 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 Uh, C-A-T-S, cats, cats, cats. Okay, Ashley, we want to remind everyone that you can watch all of today's Big Blue Carpet coverage and commencement live. Just go to uky.edu backslash commencement. Also, if there's a special message you'd like to leave your UK grad, do it via Twitter. Use pound hashtag UK grad and let them know how proud you are today. Uh, I hope that's not the last time we hear that cat's cheer. Back to you, Ashley. All right. Thanks, Greg. I sure do love to hear that catch here, and I'm sure we're here a few more times today. Right now, I'm standing here with student body president, and how does it feel to actually be graduating? It's finally come. How does it feel? Man, you know, it's, it's just unbelievable to be here and to have this opportunity, and, and the past four years have created so many memories and so many friendships, and just for it to culminate, you know, today into this ceremony, it's just a, a privilege, really blessed to be here, so. All right, and all in all, I mean, I know you have a lot of achievements as a UK student. What is your, by far, favorite memory as a student? What are you going to take from you, with you from college? Oh my gosh, you know, I trying to, try to put a finger on one memory is, is very difficult. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. I mean, there were so many opportunities that I've been very privileged to have. I think serving as student body president has really afforded me some incredible opportunities to meet some, um, some very, uh, very bright, uh, well-educated uh, board members that I guess serve with, uh, to interact with students on a daily basis, uh, to serve students. I've had so many incredible opportunities. All right, and this is actually being broadcast right now inside of Rupp Arena to your family and friends. So is there anyone out there you would like to give a special shout-out to? Shout out. Well, I just want to thank my whole family for being here today. Uh, maybe the only special shout-out I'll give is to my little sister. She's three, Scar Scarlett. So hi, Scarlett. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Thank All right, the excitement is really building out here. We've got graduates still coming down the walkway to head and take their places in line. It's a little windy out here today, but it's still a great day to be a UK graduate. How's it going down there on your end of the carpet, Greg? Ashley, I'm standing here with some folks from the College 
of engineering, and, and, and you can feel the excitement. It's almost like gearing up for a big basketball game. How do you all feel? I feel great. I'm so excited to finally be graduating after five years. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definite excitement to be graduating. Just absolute happiness and joy right now. <laughs> yeah, excitement. <Woo! laughs> right, absolutely. You know, a lot of folks have talked about how it's not really saying goodbye, but rather kind of like see you later. As University of Kentucky alumni, what kind of things are you going to look forward to participating in? Coming back to the basketball games in Keeneland, for sure. Yeah, basketball games, for sure. <laughs> basketball games. <laughs> Football games, yeah. <laughs> right, right, absolutely. I think, too, that a lot of people want to know what are the sort of things you'll be doing after graduation? What are bigger and better things are going on to you after UK? Um, I mean, I've got a job with John Deere, so I'm going to go on and, and work with them and uh, hopefully use my education and do well. So. I'm moving to Na uh, Huntsville, Alabama to work with NASA down there. <laughs> I'm going to vet school at Texas A&M. <laughs> and I'm getting into law enforcement, staying right here in this community. Okay, Ashley, so these folks are gearing up. We're ready for graduation. How much time do we have left? Thanks, Greg. I've seen twiddling thumbs and tapping toes. These folks are really ready to go inside and start a whole new chapter of their lives. Right now, we have a couple UK professors here standing with us. And guys, how does it feel to know that your students are finally going out into the real world? It's, it's exciting. Um, we have, as a research one, we train uh, future faculty for other institutions so some of my students are going off to be faculty members at other colleges and they'll have their own students so it's, it's really great to see. Great, what about you? Well it's a it's, it's wonderful experience. Alright and what's your favorite memory of being a professor? What's the best thing about it? Seeing the students how they change coming back from abroad, studying abroad, okay, finishing abroad. their degrees, just seeing how mature they've become and how ready they are to go out in the world. Great, thanks professors. All right, everybody is pretty revved up and ready to go. Even the professors are ready to send a farewell off to their students as they embark on this new chapter of their lives. Greg, how is it really going down there? Are students still excited? Are they anxious? What's happening? Absolutely, Ashley. I'm down here with folks from the College of Ag, and we want to remind everyone, family and friends watching at home and inside, that you can watch all of Commencement Live today. Before Ashley and I lead these folks inside, we want to you to give them a proper Kentucky welcome, okay? So stand up if you're inside Rupp Arena. Let your graduate know that you're proud of them and help me with our last big blue cheer before going inside. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Go Big Blue! 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 Go big blue. You ready? For the University of Kentucky, I'm Greg Robinson. And I'm Ashley Jackson. Thanks for joining us. Come, my friend. It is not too late to seek a newer world. For my purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset. And the bass of all the western stars. So much is taken, much abides. That which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic heart. Strong and will. To strive. To seek. To find. And not to yield. See blue. We are working today to build a newer Kentucky. Your university has been called to be a top 20 university. We seek that goal not for its own sake, but because of what it means for Kentucky. We know that people who live in states with top 20 universities are healthier, have higher incomes, have more education, are less likely to live in poverty, and are more likely to be involved in making our communities stronger. We know a better UK means a better Kentucky. A newer Kentucky is a bluer Kentucky. We know that a better UK means stronger and healthier Kentucky communities where people live and work and raise their families. We know we can achieve it. We know we can achieve it. We know we can achieve it. My confidence renews itself every day. The president's office at UK looks out over the heart of the campus. I see our, our classrooms and our laboratories, our theaters and museums. But more than that, just outside my window, I see Kentucky students. Kentucky's future. Kentucky's future. Kentucky's future. Kentucky's future. I see Kentuckians. Who seek that newer Kentucky we want for our families. 
I see our students and I understand our potential. I see our capacity to, to make, make a, a difference. difference. I see that our ability to set things right might well be limitless. I look outside my window and I see Kentucky's next teachers who will insist that every one of our kids can learn. Every one of our kids has potential. Just waiting to be unleashed. They will teach Kentucky's children well. I see Kentucky's next doctors and nurses and therapists who will dedicate themselves to making lives healthier. They will bind Kentucky's wounds and heal our sick. I see Kentucky's next entrepreneurs who refuse to accept that they must spend their lives working for someone else. They will create Kentucky businesses and create Kentucky jobs. They will renew Kentucky's economy. I see Kentucky's next artists and poets. They will make us mindful of the need for both development of talent and strength of soul. I look out my window and I see Kentucky's next public service. Who will use the machinery of government not as a tool of the status quo, but as a way to improve conditions for all of us. They will bring Kentucky together. They will move Kentucky forward. I see Kentuckians who will break the bonds that have limited our state for too long. I see Kentuckians who resist the temptation to accept what is. Too many of our fellow citizens are sick. Too many of our, our fellow, fellow citizens, citizens are poor. Too many of our fellow citizens have limited futures. I see Kentucky's next researchers and community activists who will pursue with fierce determination the solutions to our problems. No disease is incurable. No barrier is insurmountable. No child is unteachable. No goal is unreachable. I see Kentucky's next architects and technicians and farmers and writers and social workers I see Kentucky's next decision makers and dreamers. I see Kentuckians who embrace diversity of background and thought. I see